Hey there, budding artists and creative souls. Ever wondered how to dip your toes into the world of watercolor portraits? Well, today, I'm here to guide you through a simple yet effective way to start your journey towards becoming a watercolor portrait pro, all in just a few minutes. So grab your brushes and let's paint a beautiful world together. First things first, let's talk about your materials. You'll need watercolor paper, watercolor paints, brushes, and a jar of water. Make sure your paper is thick enough to handle the water without warping. Now let's sketch our subject. Don't worry about perfection here. Just get the basic outlines and features down. Think of it as mapping out where you'll be painting. Remember, every line contributes to the character of your portrait. Once your sketch is ready, it's time to introduce some color. Start with lighter washes. Think of this as setting the tone. Use a larger brush to apply a light wash over the face. This isn't about filling every detail, but rather creating a base to build upon. Next, while the first layer is still damp, begin adding in your mid-tones. These are your pinks, peaches, or browns that bring life to the face. Apply these colors where shadows and contours naturally occur, like under the cheekbones, around the nose, and beneath the eyebrows. Now, let's deepen those shadows. Mix a slightly darker tone and apply it sparingly. This will add depth and dimension to your portrait. And remember, watercolor is about layers. Each one adds a story to your painting. Finally, refine your portrait with details. Use a smaller brush to define the eyes, lips, and nose. This step brings your subject to life, making the eyes sparkle and the lips smile. And there you have it, a simple yet expressive watercolor portrait. Don't be discouraged if it doesn't come out perfect on the first try. Every artist has a unique style, and part of the joy of painting is discovering yours. Keep practicing, keep experimenting, and most importantly, keep enjoying the process. Thanks for joining me today. Keep those brushes moving and who knows? Maybe you'll find your own unique way to capture the beauty in the world. Until next time, happy painting.